Bag up, bag up. Bag up, Terry. Put in reverse. Oh, Lord. Lord, Jesus. A few moments later. What's up? Hope everyone's doing well. Let's get right into it. The next thing we needed to plan was how the spider was going to attack. So we went into Miro and jotted down a ton of ideas. It's a tiny piece of paper. Essentially we decided that it was best for the spiders to not really attack. And instead apply a slow depending on how many are on the player. This would make them a good first enemy without a real penalty. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. But when combined with other enemies, these spiders would become effective at impeding the player. Let's just open up the spider's logic here. And fuck. Doing everything purely with function timers and events was becoming unruly. And it was hard to tell what state the spider was in and easily switch between them. This video by Unreal Engine got recommended to me and I decided to start using behavior trees. Behavior trees are a lot better. Just take a look at this. It will be so much easier to tell what branch or state the spider AI is in. Dinner's ready, honey. Oh my goodness, all right. For the cling, the player has four points that get added to an array on begin play. Then when a spider jumps to a point, the point is removed from the unused points array and added to the used points array here. Here's the locations of the points. The points follow the player's bones, so you can get what you see here in the intro. Here's them clinging. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. The player can roll to remove the spiders when needed. People were really loving the posts on Twitter, so we at least know we were going with a flashy direction. There's just something about spiders climbing on you that is innate. And here's them also being removed when entering a light source's range. I'm just about to go to bed. I know we couldn't Skype tonight, but that's all right. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. When a torch is lit, the nav mesh is updated so that the AI don't try to walk in lit areas. It's worked well enough, but what if the AI was inside this range when it was made not walkable? Ouch. So to fix this, I made it so that if the light source is lit and the spiders are in a range, then they are thrown away from the source, almost as if they are jumping away scared. I showed a little bit there, but you can also aim with the torch. This allows you to scare spiders so they go far away. But doing this exposes your back to be climbed on and your torch to start being drained. I thought I'd change the topic a bit and show a little bit of shaders I was messing around with. They're obviously really out there and crazy. You think? But just the act of going all the way is a good experimentation method. Honestly, the floor looking kind of like pizza at a few points there. Next up is a small little UI thing I did for lighting up wall torches and brassiers. Something small like this adds a lot of impact. Ha! Yeah, we added a laser to the torch for some reason. Honestly, we were just kind of lost on how the combat would actually play out. We sort of envisioned this weird Luigi's Mansion style lasso mechanic instead of the vacuum. Picture this, but with the laser lasso. 
Yeah. We'll return to more of the combat development in the next devlog. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night slash day wherever you're from.